What is fluor x-raying? A fluor x-ray is making an image produced by using specific equipment that allows a technician to see the inner composition of a concrete slab. These methods are popular because they do not require the destruction of the surface in order to determine the subsurface structure. This imaging is achieved through equipment that utilizes either electromagnetic radiation, also known as x-rays, or ground penetrating radar. Each of these methods has its own pros and cons. Ground penetrating radar, usually abbreviated as GPR, uses radar pulses to create an image of the subsurface. Some of the pros is that it's more affordable than x-ray imaging. It can determine depth, it only requires one-sided access, and it is actually faster than x-ray imaging. Some of the cons is that it's less accurate than x-ray imaging, and it cannot differentiate between materials. X-ray imaging uses radioactive waves to provide images of the subsurface. Some of the pros is that it's actually more accurate than ground penetrating radar. So it's necessary when the job requires more specific information about what is inside the concrete. It can also differentiate between materials. This is important when you need to locate a plastic conduit, for example. Some of the cons are that it takes a longer time. On average, the time it takes to inspect a 10 inch by 12 inch space using x-ray imaging, GPR technology can inspect a four foot by four foot space. It also requires access to both sides of the concrete, making it virtually impossible to use for slab on grade imaging. It also can't determine depth, and some hazard is involved because there is radioactive material being used. You need your floor scanned or x-rayed anytime you plan on cutting, coring, drilling, or otherwise tampering with existing concrete during construction. You will need a scan in order to safely detect what is embedded inside the concrete. These can be objects like conduits, post-tension and pre-tension cables, pipes, or rebar. Damaging these items can be very costly and delay projects significantly. In addition, a floor scan can also be used to determine slab thickness and voids. When trying to figure out how much floor imaging will cost, there are many variables to consider. The cost varies based on project location, size of areas to be scanned, and the complexity of the embedded objects. When you're pricing, be sure to ask for initial setup and for how many hours is the first cost. Then ask how much it will be per hour after that. Also keep in mind to ask at what point the charges begin, will charges start when they arrive to the site, and how long does it take to set up. Also keep in mind that if you're choosing x-ray imaging, it costs considerably more and takes longer to set up and read results. There are a few more considerations when having your floor scanned. First, you don't want the entire slab scanned because this would take a lot of time and money. Also, it's a good idea to have someone there to help them mark the parts on the floor that you want scanned, preferably the person who will be drilling in the future. And finally, for the most part, the slab reinforcement runs in straight lines. So once you have two points, then you can make a line on the floor showing the reinforcement location. Scanning concrete in order to determine the inner composition of a slab is necessary in any building project where the concrete will be tampered with. Ground penetrating radar and x-ray are the two most popular methods for obtaining subsurface images. Each method has pros and cons. Generally speaking, ground penetrating radar is more affordable and quicker than x-ray. And x-ray is more precise than ground penetrating radar. When deciding which method to use, figure out which one makes sense for your particular project.